and welcome to this video and in this video this is just a small update to our previous multiplayer functionality video where I was talking about how the multiplayer functionally changed in Velostrone version 112 well, we're now in Velostrone 117 and things have changed a little bit in the multiplayer session window and I just wanted to cover those changes although for most people who've been using Velostrone for a long time these changes will be obvious uh, for new players this is the latest video showing you how the multiplayer functionality works so if we click on multiplayer you then get to select whatever quad you want to use so we'll use this one and then you get the multiplayer window and what the multiplayer window shows you is sessions that you can join and it also gives you the option to create your own sessions so you can see that a session has come up here in America and I'll just talk very briefly about this the session name is CCMS the race manager is Nealality Nealality uh, the scenery that they're flying on is football stadium the track name is multi GP 2017 RF which was the original final track there are two players out of a possible 30 in that session it's unlocked they're doing three lap normal racing with five inch quads uh, auto arming which is what the A stands for uh, and if you wanted to join that session you just click this join session button and all the sessions for the American server which is where we are here server region America will be shown when I've got America selected if I want to look at the European server I can switch to Europe and then after five seconds or so we'll do a refresh and now we can see the sessions that are on the European server and again you can see various and one of them just disappeared but see various sessions here they're on different tracks or different sceneries different tracks different numbers of players all these sessions again are unlocked this would be a red pattern block if it was locked and you wouldn't be able to join it and this one's flying open class auto arming 5 inch single class auto arming 5 inch and three lap normal auto arming 5 inch and again you could join any of those sessions by clicking the join session now the server region is important because what you want to do is you want to join a server region that is closest to you so when you join a multiplayer server you want the best network latency possible because if your network latency is poor then you won't see other players moving smoothly in your session they'll look like they're pinging around the map or bouncing backwards and forwards between two points uh, and that indicates a very very bad network connection for that player so if your network connection to the server is bad then you see everyone badly or not moving smoothly so you want to connect to a local server so the idea is you pick a region that's close to you but you aren't restricted to that if you want to race in America or Europe or Australia or wherever then you, the sim won't stop you from doing that but you just have to bear in mind the further away the server is the bigger the latency is going to be and the less smooth you're likely to see other players moving um, the other thing to bear in mind is that the FPV community is quite a small community in gaming terms and therefore you need to be careful when you pick to look for sessions it just so happens that our servers are relatively busy um, due to lockdown so there are sessions all the pretty much all the time at the moment um, but outside outside of when we're all locked in our homes and getting on with things normally then usually the evenings would be the time to look so in the evening in Europe there'd be a lot of sessions in the evening in America on the American server there'll be a lot of sessions uh, and so on so you can pick the server that best suits the time zone um, where there are likely to be more sessions effectively so if you don't see sessions in Europe and it's midnight then it would be a good idea to look at the American server because that's going to be getting into early evening uh, in America and there may well be sessions there at that time okay uh, the other thing to bear in mind with multiplayer is if your client isn't up to date then you won't see any sessions at all 
uh, and that's why we advise it should always run the launcher when you run the sim because that will keep you up to date so if you're connecting to multiplayer and you're wondering why you don't ever see any sessions ever it's most likely because your client is out of date uh, which means you've created a shortcut to velocitrain.exe or something like that rather than running the launcher which will update your sim and keep you able to see multiplayer sessions because you're the same level as everyone else okay so that's sessions servers what server region you're connecting to other people's sessions what if you want to host a session yourself well that's what this top line is for here you select what server you want to host on so I'm hosting in Europe here. You then give your session a name. So this is the, the session name that will turn up here. That's what goes in this box. So I can put a session in here. There are no spaces. So uh, if you want to space things out, then you might be able to do something like, and uh, no, it won't take special characters either. Uh, no. So you can just type a, a single word here for your session name it's not going to allow you to to space out things or put spaces or anything like that if you don't put anything in here then it prompts you for the session name if you still don't put anything in here it will give you a default session name and it will be some combinations of letters and and, and whatever so if you see like a weirdly named session over here it's because someone didn't fill in the session name box but I, I would advise putting something in here like if you're running a session for beginners you could call your session beginners as an example the next decision you need to make is whether it's a hidden session or not so if you choose not to tick this box so this is ticked this is not ticked so if you don't tick this box then it will show up for everyone to see if you do tick this box then people joining your session need to know its name so you would type in the name of the session you want to join here and click join and that will join you to that session so if someone says oh hey I'm hosting a hidden session and its name is Bob uh, as an example then you would type Bob in here and click join session and it will join you, join you to it similarly you could type messin which is this session name over here and click join session and that would also join you to it but the point of hidden session is it just stops it kind of turning up in the list so you can keep your session private only give the session name to people that you want to be able to join your session and then you can have a, a private session of your own just for you and your friends as an example and only you and your friends know the name because you've told them over private messaging or whatever so you tick whether you want it to be hidden or not so if you don't want it to be hidden you would then click host session and then that would open your session uh, with the name messin which it wouldn't let me do because there's already one of those so let's change this back to beginners so beginners click host session and then that will open the session and people will see it and be able to join it or tick hidden session click the host session button and then people won't be able to see it and you would have to tell people you want to join the name of the session so they can type it in here and click join session now the last checkbox on here is friends so in a multiplayer game and I've got a video on this if you want to um, look it up um, which is how the friends functionality works but if you've added friends and I suggest watching that video if you want to know how to do that if you've added friends then you can see if they are in sessions even if their session is hidden you can still find them and you just click this friends button here and then it will basically tell you if any of the friends in your friends list are in a room and at the moment it's saying no they're not in rooms and the player is offline and therefore you can't join them but if one of your friends was playing in a hidden session then they would turn up here and you could choose to join them it wouldn't say remove it would say join and you could join them in that session the one caveat to that is everyone can hide their ID from their friends which means that if you do do that then your friends can't see you in a session and that is in the options if we go back to options 
uh, in main settings hide ID from friends if you select that to yes then your friends won't be able to see when you're in a session I strongly advise people because we're such a small community not to turn that on so that your friends can find you and we have a more vibrant community um, because people tend to turn that on and then forget they've turned it on and then wonder why their friends don't find them online and like and all that kind of stuff so that's pretty much it that's multiplayer in a nutshell how it all works um, The other thing just to bear in mind in here, if I just turn off friends here, is this refreshes every five seconds. So even if you go to somewhere like, uh, let's try Japan. I'm expecting there probably won't be a session. No. So you can see it says refreshing and then wait for refresh and then refreshing and then wait for refresh. Um, actually, I think it might be... I think it's five seconds I said it to, but every five seconds it refreshes. So if you've seen that go from wait for, to refreshing to wait to refresh a couple of times, then there really aren't any sessions. There's no point in waiting longer unless you just want to sit there and wait until a session appears. I don't suggest you do that. I suggest if you don't see a session, host your own. And there'll be somebody out there looking for sessions who will come and join you. So, you know, if you don't see sessions, then it's one or two things. Either there aren't any sessions, in which case host one and someone will join you, or your client is out of date, as I said earlier, and that could be the reason, in which case run the launcher and get your client up to date. Okay, that's everything. Uh, I hope that's all reasonably clear and easy to understand, and I'll see you on the next video.